Hi, I'm Darren Miller, a CFA charter holder and instructor for Wiley CFA Exam Review. I want to take a few minutes of your time to demonstrate two important format settings for the BA2 Plus calculator. You won't read about these in the owner's manual. I've been coaching CFA candidates for over 15 years and these format settings are my personal recommendations, especially for new level one candidates. Get to know this powerful calculator well in advance of the exam. These settings have the potential to shave seconds off each multiple choice question that you answer. Let me show you these optimal settings for the CFA program now. Most CFA candidates use this calculator on the exam. It's the one that I recommend, and in particular, the BA2 Plus Professional. The professional version has a little door at the back that you can replace the battery. Non-professional versions, you need a screwdriver. So the professional version is about uh, double the price of the non-professional one, but who wants to fool around with the screwdriver to replace the battery? Anyhow, let's take a look at the uh, setups from this calculator, and here's my calculator straight out of the box. I'm going to switch it on, and notice I've got uh, two places after the decimal. So I'm going to show you how you can change your format features so that they're optimized for the CFA program. These are the two things that you should do before you even start using your calculators for calculations using formulas in the CFA program. So I'm going to go into the format uh, function of the calculator by hitting uh, second function format and notice the default number of decimal places on my calculator. Two. That's not ideal for the CFA program. So what I want to do is uh, program this so that I've got nine, uh, nine places after the decimal. And of course, there are no nine places after the decimal. The maximum number of decimals that the calculator can display is actually eight. However, nine is a floating decimal. A uh, floating decimal means that if you only need two places after the decimal on the display, you will only get two places after the decimal. If you need seven places after the decimal, it will be there for you. So it just makes the screen a little bit clearer because in the CFA program, sometimes we need a lot of accuracy after the decimal point, other times we don't. Now, let's press the down arrow one, two, three, four times and take a look at the setting on my calculator right now. CHN. That means it's the chain order of operations. So whatever you type into your calculator, 1 plus 2 times 3, the answer will come out to be 9. It will simply just follow the order of the keystrokes that you have entered. Now, of course, we know that with respect to the CFA uh, exam, we're going to be using our calculators a lot. We're going to be adding things in the numerator, then dividing, and looking at a lot of exponents, especially when we're using discounting models. So CHN, this is the least helpful format setting for the CFA program. It means that you're going to be using your brackets a lot, and it also means that you're going to spend a lot of time breaking down complicated looking formulas when in fact your calculator can handle it uh, in a few keystrokes. So this is my ultimate top setting. It's my ultimate top tip for calculators. I recommend that you follow it. Switch it right now. Second function enter, which gets you into the toggle set format. Set your calculator to AOS. AOS is Texas Instruments special algebraic operating system. And what AOS will do will allow you to enter numbers in, say for example, 1 plus 2 times 3. If you were to do that under your calculator right now, you will end up with the correct answer of 7. Because your calculator will do the multiplication first, then it will do the addition. You don't even need any brackets whatsoever. And again, it is my top time saver on the exam. Candidates at level one, go for this right now. Try it out. Once you start with it, you'll love it. Candidates at level two and level three, maybe you've already been using the chain setting and you're familiar with it, but at least give it a try to see if it's something that you might like after having a couple years of experience already doing something else. Who says you can't teach a dog a new trick? So let's uh, get out of this screen. So if we do second function quit, that always takes us back to the uh, main input screen. And one final thing I'm going to show you is that now that our calculator is already set up, 
we've, uh, we've done this in terms of uh, switching the number of decimal places to a floating decimal, and we've also set the calculator up so that it is in the AOS preferred optimal recommended setting for the CFA program. Now, what happens if you reset your calculator or you replace the battery? During the exam, the proctors may pick up your calculator and reset it for you. Now, we don't know that that happens, but that clearly is a worst case scenario, or maybe you inadvertently do it yourself. So I'm going to show you how you can reset your calculator to take it back to the mode uh, as if it was straight out of the box. So if you do it, press these keys, second function, reset, the calculator will ask you if you want to reset. It's almost like a strange looking question mark. It's verifying whether or not you want to proceed. And if you hit the enter button, you will end up having reset your calculator. Second function, quit, gets you back in there. And notice, I've got two places after the decimal. The calculator has uh, reverted back to my default. So what I'm gonna do right now is very quickly go back into the format buttons, change the number of decimals to the floating decimal. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to change the chain to the AOS function and now I'm going to quit out of there and now I'm done. So I've showed you three different things that you need to learn very basic settings of the calculator. One, the optimal setting for decimals. I recommend nine for a floating decimal. If you need a decimal, it will be there. If you do not need a decimal, it will not. And the main thing that I'm encouraging everybody to do is get out of the chain mode and set your calculator to AOS. You'll discover that you'll be much faster, your answers are gonna be much accurate, and on exam day, speed and accuracy counts. Thank you very much for listening. Please get your calculator out. Start practicing with it early and often. Now that you see the power of some simple calculator changes, we've got a lot more CFA exam taking tips and resources for you to download for free. Visit the address on the screen to download these and to learn more about Wiley Efficient Learning for the CFA program. Once again, I'm Darren Miller for Wiley CFA Exam Review. Thank you for your time and best wishes for efficient CFA studies.